This week on Pure Fly NZ, we're in a very special place, right at the bottom of New Zealand. Fiordland is a geographical region in the southwestern corner of the South Island. Most of the area is contained within the Fiordland National Park, which covers 12,000 square kilometres, making it by far the largest of New Zealand's 13 national parks. Large deep lakes are a feature of the area, and four large bodies of water dominate. The huge Lake Tianau, Lake Manapuri, Lake Monawai, and Lake Hiroko in the south. All of these lakes are surrounded by pristine beech forest that is home to threatened native bird species such as the takahe, fio, and kiwi. These forests are also home to the unwanted non-native species such as the common field mouse. Mice were accidentally introduced to New Zealand by trade ships in the 1800s. Since then, mice have spread extensively throughout the North and South Islands. In these vast tracts of wilderness, a strange phenomenon occurs every five or six years, when there is a widespread beech tree seeding or masting. The mice feed heavily on the fallen seeds, which lead to a population explosion. Within a few months, the mice are pretty much everywhere. Under the cover of darkness, it is when the rodents are most active. During these mice plagues, the beech forest is alive with mice looking for a feed. They'll even venture into the water to collect water-blown seeds. As the mice numbers increase, individuals need to become more daring in order to find a feed. This increased activity does not go unnoticed by the local trout population. Whilst trout generally feed on insects and small fish, they're also incredibly flexible at utilising the new food sources. A mouse flapping around on the surface of the lake represents a prey item outside its comfort zone and vulnerable. A mouse is a big meal for a trout and has sharp claws and teeth, dangerous to swallow alive. So to get around this, the trout uses its tail to knock the mouse unconscious and drown it. Once submerged and not moving, the fish circles back around to take the mouse head first. At the height of the plague, large numbers of mice are consumed. As many as 16 rodents have been found partially digested in the stomach of large brown trout. The high protein diet leads to fast growth rates and in some cases, fat build up in the stomach cavity. Most mouse eating trout have the capacity to grow very quickly with some of the fish nearly doubling their weight over a few months. For this reason, the mouse plague is of great interest yes, to most today. kiwi fly fishers. <laughs> <laughs> this you is it, Timmy. This is exactly what we're here for. What does it go up to? 14. 14. It only goes to 14. Yeah, that's the problem. Uh oh. And it's at 14. Oh, 13 and a half. There's no need to try and make this guy look big, he's just huge. With the first fish in the net weighing 13 and a half pounds and clearly a mouse feeder, the mission is off to an amazing start. 